The heart of Sindh, Shaheed Bey Nazirabad, formerly known as Nawab Shah, is a place of light, learning, hope, humanity, and harmony. People's University of Medical and Health Sciences for Women is presently housed in the premises of People's Medical College for Women. The People's Medical College was one of the manifestations of the vision of Mr. Shaheed Zulfikar Ali Bhutto for the empowerment of women. It was made specifically for females. Her legendary father's vision of women's empowerment became Muhtarma Benazir Bhutto's life work, and she granted permission for People's Medical College to become a health sciences university. Now, by the initiative taken by co-chairman Mr. Asif Ali Zardari and Dr. Azra Fazal Pichoho, Provincial Minister for Health, further steps are being made to turn the vision and the goal of Mr. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto and Muhtarma Benazir Bhutto a reality. Over 10,000 medical doctors from various departments including MBBS, DPT, PharmD, BS Nursing, Post RN and BS Public Health as well as postgraduate students have already received degrees from award medals to outstanding students from undergraduates, MBBS, Elite Health Sciences, BSPH, DPT, PharmD, BSN and Post RN. The Pakistan Medical and Dental Council and the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan have fully approved the People's University of Medical and Health Sciences to grant postgraduate medical degrees. This university is located in Nawabsha in the Sindh province. More than 10,000 female doctors have graduated from PUMS till date. There are currently more than 1,000 female doctors practicing in Sindh province and majority of them are PUMS and PMC graduates. They are providing their services all over the world and particularly in Pakistan. There are four institutes operating under the Community Health Sciences at the new campus, the Institute of Physiotherapy and Rehabilitation Sciences, the Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, the Institute of Nursing and the Institute of Public Health. The Doctor of Physiotherapy DPT program was launched at PUMS in December 2012, making it the first women's public sector university in the Sen to introduce such a program. The program offers a DPT curriculum that combines a theoretical, practical and evidence-based approach to healthcare management. Women with high levels of expertise in rehabilitation are produced by the institute. The OPD is fully furnished with cutting-edge machinery. The university's transportation department is affordable for the students. It operates a large fleet of buses, carries, coasters and high roof vans. The pupils receive regular pick and drop services inside the city. Department of Project Director Engineering Wing is set for construction, maintenance and providing electricity to all the departments, hostels, flats and bangalows of the university. PD section works for carrying out repair or renovation work included in PC1, construction of new blocks, and selection or appointment of consultants for new buildings. Recently, under the direction of HAC, the Office of Research, Innovation and Commercialization ORIC, was set up in firms Shaheed Benazirabad. The university's primary goal is to establish connections between academia and business in order to commercialize research. By forging close linkages between the academic and industrial worlds, research at medical educational institutions propels the economy of any country. There is a skill lab where highly qualified staff instruct students in the use of intravenous injections, passing instruments, catheters, etc. The Stop Notch Skills Lab serves as a major hub for the practical instructions for aspiring doctors. Students can learn practical techniques without bothering actual patients due to these interactive electronic mockups for the human body. Further in love, the AHA recognized BLS program is running of most success at Skills Labs. We treat all trauma and accident cases in a contemporary trauma center which is situated beside university. We have a hospital with 1100 beds that will eventually have all the amenities. The distance from the city to our new campus is 3.5 meters. 
The water testing and research lab is fully furnished, function and with cutting edge equipment. One of the key elements of the community health concern in the Department of Community Medicine is the research laboratory. To assure the safety of drinking water supplies, a management plan based on several barriers of protection from source to use is needed. This unique facility is available exclusively at Pumps Shahid Benazirabad. The Pumps Diagnostic Laboratory has automatic analyzer for chemistry, immune assays, histopathology, microbiology and hematology reports. The DR lab was the first in the city to offer PCR tests in comparison to other commercial labs with tight quality control procedures. It offers high quality lab services for reasonable fees and affordable charges. University have a very uniqueness being only the women university in our province and this university have a very proper destination, means, visions and the missions. So far so to empower the women, the slogan of this university is to educate the women is to progress the nation. I am very proud of my faculty and with the collective wisdom, we are going forward to meet the rising sun. We are never compromising on the standards. And apart from undergraduate, we are also concerned with the postgraduates. This university harbors many of the courses in the medical and allied sciences. And wherein about 5,000 students are enrolled in this university in the new and old campus. Apart from that, about 12 other affiliated colleges are working under the control of this university to import the various degrees. And this university so is in the infancy, but have touched the very progressive within a short period of time. All our courses are recognized and our postgraduate is even recognized universally. My faculty is very enthusiastic and professionally serving the downtrodden poor peoples of my province. Our every program is a very much structured and we are following our annual academic calendars. And we are very much concerned in the standards wherein we again make the strategies and decisions on the feedback from the students and feedback from the other stakeholders as well. We are very much structured and apart from education, we are very much concerned in the management, in the administration, and also in the effective delivery of education and services towards the patients. I hope that with the passage of time, this university will stand as one of the best university in Pakistan. Pakistan Zindabad. This is the President Vice Chancellor's Secretariat at the main campus. The main conference hall where the Academic Council, Syndicate and Senate meetings are held. And the most modern Latif Hall which is utilized for programs. part of this university as the university is providing quality education to girls who are coming from different areas of interior sin and I believe this is the only university in interior sin that is promoting girls education. I have been teaching here for last eight years at People's University of Medical and Health Sciences for Women Nawabsha. It's basically a women university and most of the students coming from far and wide uh, generally uh, to get admission here. I teach a communicative English language, uh, which is generally known as soft skills in, the, in, in allied institutes. The academic lifestyle offers time and space for leisure activities such as relaxation, exercise and sports. The importance of sports and extracurricular activities for students' physical health in the middle of their demanding academic schedule is recognized by the university which annually host a sports week for both students and faculty wherein they can take part in a variety of sporting events. 
Such activities are always done to foster healthy minds, instill a spirit of competitiveness and sportsmanship in students, boost their self-esteem both individually and as a team member. In addition, the institution offers services including the cafeteria, post office, bank and minimart. With the assistance of HEC, the university has deployed fiber optical to every department, the main campus, the faculty guest house and VC house. All students and teachers have access to Wi-Fi and the internet. For further protection, they have set up CCTV at every entrance and exit to the main campus. Students can now access all medical texts and more than 700 medical videos for download using video conferencing, online exams and the open journal system OJS and Koha library software. We are making smart ID cards for all students and other faculty staff members. The new campus has a smart classrooms as well. Additionally, the IT department offers training sessions to postgraduate students as well as IT lectures to all university students. Recently, four new hostels, DPT, Form D, BS Nursing and Postgraduate Hostel were erected and fully equipped with all the amenities including a cafeteria, a mini mall and Wi-Fi where students can acquire knowledge and apply it for their educational goals. Faculty and other officers now have their own residential bangalows, central library and advanced IT center with digital login and entry system. Any institute's examination department is its foundation. It is essential to a university's operation since it creates test schedules, assigns invigilators, oversees the administration of exams, issues transcripts and marks, certificates and grants, degrees to undergraduate and graduate students at PUMS and other associated schools and universities. The new campus's exam department has a conduct branch, an office for the controller. The examination department has a brand new building on its campus and the most cutting edge OSPI testing facility is located there. This is the university's new campus library and this is the main library at old campus. Here, students spend a large portion of their free time working with current information drawn from the hundreds of books that line its shelves. Additionally, the library subscribes to 200 scholarly medical journals. I'm from second year and the one thing that I like most about this university is that we have really free and secure environment here. The one sensor like provides very good environment and then we can have like access of many things like super like super freely. I'm a doctor and I'm graduate from the People's University of Medical Sciences and I lived in the hostel of almost for five years. The environment of hostel is was quite safe and it feels like home. I spent almost six years of my journey in funds. The working condition, the learning environment, the central li library, lecture hall, all were excellent. Comprehensive patient care and therapies are provided to patients at Children's Hospital in Nawabshah, which consists of 300 beds. The hospital is located in the center of city. The MCHC is home to a number of departments, including the PEDS ICU, the CLF, Pediatric Oncology, and the Nutrition Stabilization Center. The MCHC also employs Unit 1, Unit 2 of Gynecology and Obstetrics. Additionally, every OT is completely operational. The Diagnostic and Research Center is one of the numerous aspects of healthcare already offered. Numerous diagnostic procedures are carried out at discounted price. The Pathology Laboratory, which is outfitted with the newest biomedical technology, receives samples from the Diagnostic and Research Center. With equipment for accurate diagnosis of a variety of illnesses, this lab is a priceless resource for the region's healthcare professionals. Benazir Institute of Urology and Transplantation, recently founded, will offer patients long-term transplant care as well as kidney transplant surgery. We are also building a new medical and dentistry college, a stadium, 300 new staff apartments where all of the university staff will live in the future. A convention center that will be built in phases and other facilities too.